Today, we're going to talk about our diaper bag for dads. Our Kickstarter for the bag is now live, so head over to fathercraft.com slash bag to check it out. We also have a link in the description uh, as well for those of you who will forget by the end of this video. Also, if you're watching this video after July 5th, fear not. You can still go to fathercraft.com slash bag to learn how to pre-order the bag. So lucky you. So today, I'm gonna tell you a bit more about this thing. Actually, not me, past me. Uh, he's gonna talk about how this bag started, why we think it's important, and why we think you should get it. So uh, stay tuned and check it out. Picture it, it's 2012. My son Oliver's born and my wife and I get into a groove. One day, as the sleep deprivation is wearing off, I'm getting ready to leave the house with Oliver. So I grab my keys, my wallet, my cool shades, and my wife's Kate Spade polka dot diaper bag. Now look. I'm secure enough to rock a Merce, that's not even the issue. The issue is, this thing sucked. If you shop for a diaper bag, you'll discover that you essentially have two choices. You can buy a bag off of Amazon that costs around 70 bucks and you know it's gonna fall apart within the first year. You can spend 400 bucks on a designer bag that doesn't even have all the features you need. Or you can choose from a very limited number of bags that are designed for dads. And while yeah, a tactical camo bag might be functional, personally, I think they look pretty ridiculous. I'm stubborn and also a bit of a fashionista, so I didn't want to just buy a cheap bag that I'd use for a couple years and then it's just junk. When I couldn't find this perfect bag, I decided to go ahead and design one. Meet the Fathercraft diaper bag. Five years in the making. It looks good, it works incredibly well, and will grow with you and your kid. When they're a baby, it's a diaper bag. When they're a toddler or elementary school kid, it's a bag to take to the park, packed with extra clothes and snacks. You can take it on hikes, on outings, wherever life takes you. This bag is versatile, durable, and comfortable no matter what fatherhood throws at you, or throws up on you, as the case may be. How do you build a better diaper bag? I started with what I wanted in a bag. Versatility, usability, durability, comfortability, styleability. You can wear this bag as a backpack or a messenger bag. As a backpack, it's easy to tuck in the messenger strap or just simply unclip it. Or messenger style, simply unclip the backpack straps and stow them away. The bag comes with a foldable, removable changing pad that stows easily in the back compartment. If you're like me, you want to be a dad that's super organized and ready to go at any time. This bag makes it easy to stash and find what you need on the go. Inside the roomy main compartment, you'll find a removable seven pocket accordion insert and a grab and go storage cube. The grab and go storage cube is especially awesome. You can leave it behind you at like daycare or if you're dropping your kid off at a play day. You want pockets? <laughs> We've got pockets. Big ones, small ones, zippered ones, mesh ones. One of my biggest complaints with other bags was the sheer lack of differently sized pockets. Little things need little pockets and big things need big pockets. Stash your laptop and phone in water resistant pockets. And there's a side bottle holder where you can stash bottles and cans. And just clap your hands because guess what? Your hands are free now. And no, I don't have two turntables and a microphone, but I do have multiple access points and this bag is where it's at. If you have a diaper bag that's narrow and deep and only opens at the top, it's hard to grab what you need. You want to be able to get in quickly from all sides. This bag features easy side zipper access and a nice handy handle that you can grab onto as you're rummaging around. There's also zippered access at the top of the bag, similar to like a backpacking backpack. With pull cord cinching, secure magnetic buckles, and multiple storage loops, you'll feel like James Bond crossed with MacGyver. Like James MacGyver, if you will, or... or What's MacGyver's first? Does MacGyver have a first name? We use premium materials throughout, from the ultra durable Hypalon base to the weather resistant Cordura nylon shell. Cheaper bags will fall apart or they're gonna get dirty and stinky because they don't have the right coating on them. And kids are gross. Not this bag though. In the comfort department, the breathable back padding means you won't sweat to death in the summer. Maybe best of all, the bag looks like a normal neutral backpack so you and your wife or your partner can share it without either of you feeling silly. We've literally built this thing from the ground up. We partnered with Cariology award-winning design firm, Bide Studio. In case you didn't know, Cariology is like the Oscars for bag design. There were late night conversations, ideating and sketching in my bespoke notebook, getting ideas and feedback from other parents. We considered hundreds of different options for fabrics and buckles and straps and zippers. And we've gone through seven physical prototypes. One of them is so large that my three-year-old can fit inside of it entirely with room to spare. Others weren't as usable as we wanted them to be, but we kept refining. And now, the bag you see here is the result of that labor of love. Parenting has taught me patience and this baby took time. 
Now it's ready to meet the world. By backing this project and sharing it with your friends, you can help bring the Fathercraft bag to life. Dads are becoming more involved, and I know this bag is going to help so many dads and parents get out there and explore the world with their kids. I can't wait to get it into your hands so you can take it out into the world. I'll see you out there. All right, now you know. So head over to fathercraft.com slash bag to check it out and get your hands on one of these amazing bags for dads. Again, you'll find that link in the description below, fathercraft.com slash bag. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Actually, first, I think I'll see you over at Kickstarter. Those tiny little chicken wire straps really did a number on my shoulders. Also, have you ever accidentally dropped a half-eaten, perfectly good slice of pizza in the trash can? The question isn't really, should I get it? But it's more like, I need to get it, but I really don't want to. Yeah, that's kind of what it was like trying to get something out of this bag. You kind of just close your eyes, stick your hand in, and hope you walk away with all your fingers. You ever been noodling for catfish on like the side of a riverbank? You kind of just have to like stick your hand in the hole and hope you walk away with all your fingers? Yeah, that's kind of what it was like trying to get something out of this bag. Just close your eyes, stick your hand in, and hope you leave with all your digits.